Hi, it's Todd from Stealth Auto. Today we're going to be looking at our HID kits, which have been really popular over the past few years. Uh, we're going to show you a little bit about what you get in the kit and give you some tips to help you make the best decision before buying. HID kits are a fantastic way to upgrade the look of your headlights. When you get your kit, it'll show up in the mail like this, in a small box. Uh, inside your kit, you will have another box. Inside the white box is going to be your bulbs which are in two plastic uh, covers just to protect them while shipping. And the HID bulbs are actually really sensitive. You want to not touch them with your fingers. Your fingers have an oil on them, and if the oil, uh, if you have enough oil on your fingers when you touch the bulbs, when that oil heats up, it can cause the bulb to burst. So it's a really good idea to wear gloves or just avoid touching the bulbs entirely. And there's, you, know, you just have to be careful as you're installing them in order to do that. Um, so you get two sets of bulbs, you're going to get two ballasts, uh, one of which I'll just leave in there for now. So let me explain a little bit about how this connects to your factory wiring harness. And your main wiring harness that runs the entire engine compartment will have a connector that goes to your headlights. Uh, that connector can be unplugged and the part that comes from the factory harness can go into the ballast instead of into your old headlights. After it goes through the ballast, it goes through what we call the igniter, and then to these two connections, which are then going to be hooked up to the bulb, which is then plugged into your headlight. Uh, one thing about the headlight bulbs, when they come from us, you may notice that there are two sets of wires that go through this rubber grommet here. There are a few headlights that will make use of both of these, but most of them will not. So don't get worried if you plug your headlights in and you have an extra piece here. The reason some cars need this is that they have an assembly inside the headlight that you want to protect with this rubber grommet. You want to protect it from moisture. So some headlights, actually the power runs into the headlight, then back out to the high beam. So like I said, most of the time it's not used. So what we're going to do for this install we're doing today is actually cut the grommet off. I'll just give you guys a closer look. Um, this grommet can be cut, it's not going to be used because the seal is actually done in the headlight where the headlight connects to the bulb. So I'm just going to jump back around here, cut this off to show you how easy it is. Uh, what you want to watch out for is that you just do not cut any of the wires, obviously. Uh, so I'll usually just use a little X-Acto blade, make a tiny cut. Once you get a cut started, that simple. If you put just a tiny amount of pressure on, I'm not sure if you can see that, on the plastic with this blade, uh, as you're spreading it apart, it'll pop right open and it will keep you from cutting the wire that you don't want to cut like that. So that's one is out. And I'm going to move to the other here. Cut that a little bit. Again, this would be easier if I was doing it on the table, but I don't have a cameraman today, so I'm filming myself. Now we've got our bulbs ready for the install. We've got our ballast, our igniter, our connectors, which are very easy to figure out. They can only plug together one way, so you don't have to worry about positive or negative confusing you. There's only one way to do it. So we'll plug these in. We'll go outside to do our install. Uh, and make sure before you do your install, you do test these. So hook it up to the car before you go through all the trouble of installing it, mounting the ballast, finding a place for the wires. Just unplug the stock harness, plug it into here, and turn the lights on to make sure everything is working and make sure nothing got damaged in shipping. One more thing about our HID kits, and please excuse me if this video is a little choppy and editing a few shots together from throughout the day. I keep remembering more things to show you guys. But one thing you have to remember, uh, if you have a newer car, BMW, Mercedes, uh, Range Rover, and all the Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep vehicles, I highly recommend getting a set of our anti-flicker HID capacitors. These capacitors run in line with the system. Um, basically, they intercept the kit and the stock wiring harness, and these will trick your factory system into thinking it is the original 55 watt HID or 55 watt headlight installed, as opposed to the new 35 watt HID kit. Um, 
This will eliminate any bulb out warning errors you may get or flickering or strobing that happens because the system is expecting one voltage and it's getting a different. So if you have any questions, be sure to email us at service at stealthauto.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our channel by pushing the subscribe button on the left. We've got a ton more videos like this and we're releasing them every week. So it'll give you tips and tricks about all the parts we sell at Stealth Auto and even some that we don't. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.